What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. If you're anything like me, you're probably ready to put 2021 in the rear view mirror. And I am so excited about what 2021 could hold for all of us. So in this episode, I'm actually not gonna do a, a lot of work on any cars. Today, I just wanna give you an update on what you can expect from Crossroads Rebuild from me in 2021. So part of what What's coming in 2021 is stuff that I've already told you about, already teased you with, like for example, the F-150 right here. Um, you saw my intro, my intro fail. <laughs> Never tried to do that before and that was interesting, but you heard there at the beginning before everything went wrong, uh, you heard uh, something that this truck didn't sound like in the last video and that is a big part or certainly a part of uh, the video that I've got coming up pretty soon uh, here in January on this truck. So stay tuned for that and uh, I'd also be interested in knowing if you have any other ideas for things that you'd like to see me do to the truck. We'll talk more about that in that video, uh, so stay tuned for that, but some exciting things for the truck and I've been using it for quite a while. I think I've put something like 11,000 miles on it already. It has been my tow rig. It has been a daily driver. It's been a road trip vehicle. Uh, it's been a fantastic uh, addition to my garage. I'm so excited to have it. I'm excited to continue, uh, first of all, making content with it for you, uh, but also using it uh, in some of my other builds. Now here is the 2011 328 XI manual transmission there it is uh, that I've been working on this is uh, if you've been following recently this is a car you've seen in the last few episodes and I'm excited to get back into uh, this project honestly um, all the repairs are done you saw in the last episode we got it back from paint and uh, now it is time for me to start reassembly you can of course see the interiors tore apart uh, this door hasn't been put back together and actually if you remember in the last episode we weren't able to get this door open got a tape shut right now uh, but with Jack's help uh, we were able to get that unlatched so of course I need to rebuild that as well and uh, get the original problem fixed so the 328's been sleeping while we've been doing our Christmas thing and New Year's and all of that and so it is ready for me to go ahead and reassemble it I've already processed the paperwork on this car, so really just need to get um, all the reassembly done on it so that we can get it on the road. As I told you at the beginning of that series, the main reason um, that we bought this car, aside from the fact that it's a manual and it'll be a lot of fun to drive, the main reason for buying this car uh, was because it is all-wheel drive. and. Um, I have a great truck with four wheel drive that I can drive in poor weather here in the winter if I need to. Uh, but Erica, well, she has this little Ranger two wheel drive, which is not any good uh, in the snow. And then of course we've got the 335i that we're gonna talk about in a minute. Um, excuse me, 335is. Uh, which is a high performance um, or high power uh, rear wheel drive car. So that's not really ideal for winter either. And it's a convertible, so it's really not a winter car. It's a fair weather car. Um, so we needed something all wheel drive and that's where this comes in. So here very soon, I'm gonna finish getting this put back together. Uh, in addition to the reassembly that needs to be done on this car, I've also got uh, some exciting things, at least they're exciting to me, uh, some things that I'm gonna be doing to this car uh, to make it nicer um, and to make it more hours. Uh, if you know anything about um, the cars I've rebuilt here on Crossroads Rebuild, uh, aside from maybe my very first one, but I always like to do something um, or several somethings um, to make them more personal, to make them ours, some things that we like. Maybe you wouldn't spend your money on it, but as long as this is a car for us, other uh, things we want to spend money on. Did that a lot to my truck. So we've got a few of those things coming for this car as well, and I'll be bringing you along for that process as well. So still plenty of content coming here on the 328i or XI X Drive manual. So in addition to, of course, the 328, um, we have been working on the 335 IS convertible for a while. Of course, the car that I bought last summer for Erica. Uh, it has been in the shop for a long, long time, and you haven't seen an episode on it in a long time. Uh, I have shot a little bit of content. Well, I've shot more than a little bit. I've shot uh, some content on the progress of doing all the, the framework and, and all of that that needed to be done to the car. 
and um, it has been a slow uh, but steady process on that car. Uh, so let's talk about some of the reasons that it has taken so long. Well, first, one of the main reasons it's been taking so long uh, is because I've just had an awful lot going on in my life. Uh, my work, my job has been very, very busy. It's been exciting work. It's been good to be busy. I'm so glad that in 2020 I had uh, a job still. I didn't lose my job as I know so many did. Uh, so I'm thankful uh, and grateful to my Lord for that job. Uh, but it did keep me very, very busy. And of course, uh, job and providing for my family comes first. So my project did have to take a, uh, a back burner for a little while. Uh, now Jack, you know, uh, you've seen Jack in some of my videos, you've seen the work that Jack does. It's been over at his shop, uh, even during the time that I couldn't work on it. And he's been working on it uh, as he's available uh, to do so, or as I'm available to help him. Uh, in fact, he took care of a few things for me uh, that I wasn't able to do just because of time. Uh, normally things that I would have done, uh, but because of time, he went ahead and took care of them for me. And I'll show you some of those things in upcoming videos. Uh, but very exciting, that car is getting ready to come home. All the framework is done. Uh, we've done some um, maintenance type work, again, that I'll talk about uh, in another video on that car. Uh, and he is actually working on painting it right now. I'll be taking him some parts here uh, later today, actually, um, that he'll also get painted uh, so that the car, at least on the outside, will be done and ready to go back together. And uh, well, then we've still got an awful lot of work on that car. Uh, that car, of course, the entire interior needs to come out of it. Um, I've got a replacement dash for it uh, as it blew all of its airbags. I've got to replace the dash, uh, of course, all the other airbags and all of that. Um, the interior, because the car had two broken out windows, uh, the interior was open to the dust, the dirt, probably the rain. In fact, I know the rain because remember there was water in the floorboard. Uh, so I've got a lot of work to clean that car up um, and repair all the airbags, put all of that back together. Um, and then of course, like always, we've got some uh, very nice upgrades to that car as well. So Erica's excited to see that car. Uh, she's excited to get to drive it. Really, I am too. I'd love to drive that car. Um, but we'll have an update coming on that one here very, very soon as well. Oh, one other major thing I've got to do on that car is figure out why the convertible top isn't working. Uh, that's not been high priority. Just getting the accident damage fixed uh, has been uh, the highest priority. Um, but got to get that convertible top. Oh, I should also mention that in addition to um, just my life and work being so busy right now, one of the other major reasons that car has taken a while uh, is because there's been a lot of parts acquisition. Um, and that has been harder uh, than you might think because that car, not only was it in a bad accident and then sat for almost two years, but it was also partially uh, disassembled at some point, probably when the insurance company was looking at it. Um, so there's just a lot of things fighting against the rebuild on that car. And so we'd get to a point where we needed a part, but we weren't necessarily sure what we needed. Um, so I'll talk about some of that in an upcoming video as well. Uh, but because of both um, just life and work, and then of course, trying to figure out what the car needed, um, just that car has taken a long time to work on. So like I said, it is getting close. It's getting a windshield uh, the beginning of next week. So I'm excited about that course paint right now and so uh, probably in the next couple of weeks uh, you'll see an episode coming on that uh, as we get ready to start putting that car back together and get it on the road. So we've talked about the F-150, we talked about the 328i manual, uh, we talked about the 335 IS that'll be coming home soon. So what else do we have coming for Crossroads Rebuild? Well, if you remember a few episodes ago, I hinted at a project that I've got coming up pretty soon. Um, probably just a little mini series of one or two uh, episodes um, that's more of a JR, uh, watch JR go uh, style of thing where I'm gonna take a car and see if I can flip it and make a profit on it. I'm looking forward to telling you about it. Um, and it's a first for me. I've never really tried to do that this way. So uh, stay tuned for that. I've got a little project coming where we're gonna try to flip a car and make some money on that. Uh, so I've got that coming soon. And if it goes well, who knows, maybe I'll do some more of those over the course of the year as well. Of course, in addition to that, I've got the Jag. Now the Jag has absolutely taken a back burner because I've had so many other projects going on uh, in addition to all of the other things I told you about with life just being hectic right now. Um, but I do wanna still get into the Jag. Let's see if we can take what used to be a very, very expensive luxury car uh, that has a reputation for being um, a bit of a maintenance nightmare, but it's a clean title, Jaguar XJ8. And let's see if 
if we can fix it up, get it back on the road, uh, enjoy it for a little while, and then of course flip that car, see if we can make a little money on it as well. So I've got that coming. Not sure exactly when that's gonna fall into the schedule, but that'll be coming soon as well. So in addition to all of those, I also have a project already in the works that's really outside of uh, the realm of anything I've ever done personally or on this channel. Uh, and I actually have, should I tell you? All right, I'll go ahead and tell you. I've actually got a classic car rebuild project coming up uh, this year. I'm not sure exactly when it will start, uh, but I'm looking forward to picking it up. It has a family connection. It is not personally my car. I'll be rebuilding it for somebody or um, rehabbing it for somebody, but I'm excited to get into my first classic car restoration uh, here in 2021 as well. Um, looking forward to that, and I'll be making a, a whole series about that car. It's gonna take a long time to put that one together. Um, so stay tuned for that, looking forward to it as well. So in addition to all these things we've talked about, I've got several ideas for some other rebuild projects I'd like to get into uh, in 2021. I'd really like to step it up and start um, doing a lot of projects that aren't necessarily just cars that I'm gonna keep, but cars that we're going to uh, fix up and flip, try to make a profit on these cars. Um, I've got ideas for um, a series of videos uh, throughout the course of the year um, that are more uh, educational and instructional in nature uh, that I've got planned and I'm working on. So I'm hoping to get those going here in the near future and uh, release those over the course of 2021 as well. Some things that I think will be a help to you if you're at all considering uh, getting into rebuilding. I am by far not the leading expert on auto rebuilding. There are plenty of channels out there um, that are doing a lot more than I am. However, one of the things that I think uh, sets Crossroads Rebuild a little bit unique is that I started from scratch from the very beginning working by myself, trying to learn uh, the process of car rebuilding, everything from the purchasing of the cars to the repairing of the cars, uh, to the turning them into uh, rebuilt titles so they can be registered and put back on the road, uh, and that whole process. And so over the course of that time, I've learned some things that I think can be a help to you. And so I'm gonna make a few videos um, going through some of those things, uh, and hopefully helping take your rebuilding uh, to the next level as well. So guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm excited about 2021. We've got a lot coming in 2021 for Crossroads Rebuild. Uh, and I'm excited to get into all of those things. But most importantly, I wish you all a happy new year, happy 2021. I hope that this is the start to a great year for you and uh, that you have great health and that you are looking forward to the many things we have coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you soon in the next episode.